What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe and click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So my people, we have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. And the first thing I got to share, right, is a policeman where them did wall on pan last year and them charge him for murder along with his accomplice and also a female seeing him girlfriend so a policeman and his accused are said to appear in the clarinan parish court this morning to face charges of murder and several breaches of the firearms act in relation to two incidents in his community on december he is constable jim Mock ingram of petonia then in langville park clarindan in the first instance, he and his co-accused Mr. Harris a car wash yeah, of Point Senior Way, also in Langville Park, were charged jointly with murder, possession of a prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, and use of a weapon to commit a felony. The charges stem from the shooting death of a farmer, Mr. Law, also of Langville Park address, Reports from the Clarendon police are that about 4.45 a.m., two men, one armed with a gun, visited Lowe at his home and engaged in a brief conversation shortly after Lowe's explosion were heard and the police were alerted. On their arrival, Lowe was seen lying in a pool of blood with gunshot wounds to his upper body. He was assisted to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Lawmen probing the incident arrested the duo who was subsequently pointed out during an identification parade later the same day. Investigators in pursuit of evidence relative to the murder of Law led them to Constable Ingram's home where a raid was conducted. A search of the premises was done in the presence of Ingram and a customer care service representative, Shanika Simpson, who also reside at the address. The search resulted in the recovery of several rounds of assault ammunition, among other things, in a barrel in their bedroom. The search yielded one pistol, 216 5.56 rounds, one 20 gauge cartridge, 15 12 gauge cartridge, 47 9 mm rounds, 26 7.62 rounds, them find about 68 special rounds, 9 M16 magazine, 1 submachine gun magazine, 2 pistol magazine, Ingram and Simpson were then slapped with the following charges in relation to the seizure. Possession of prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, dealing in prohibited weapon, stockpiling of prohibited weapon, and unauthorized use of permissive premises for the storage of firearm. So much thing, people. Ja, ja, me sorry for them. I tell them. So, let me know what I think in the comment section my people and we are going to move on to a double knockings in a east kingston right police are probing the killing of two men in bayshore park harborview in kingston on sunday afternoon one of the dead men has been identified as anthony blake otherwise called nick a resident of the community called Texaco in Bayshore Park. The other man, who is an unidentified male, is of a bleach out brown complexion about 25 feet 8 inches long. Reports reaching our news team indicate that around 12.30 p.m. several explosions were heard in the Texaco community. Blake was subsequently seen in from the community with several men chasing him firing at him blake was hit and fell and the men escaped into the bayshore park area police who responded to the explosions found blake lying on the road checks were made in the texica community and the body of the unidentified male was found in bushes 
Both men received gunshot wounds to the head and upper body and were taken by police to the Kingston Public Hospital where they were pronounced dead. More than 20 assaults pen casing were found when police processed the scene. No motive has been established for the attack, the police said. Janua. So people, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And we are going to move over people to Ina St. Martin, right? The St. Martin Police Force has issued a public appeal for information regarding the disappearance of Dave Thomas, a Jamaican. A report say Thomas has been missing since Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024 and Saturday, January 6th. A concerned family member of Thomas went to the police station in Phillipsburg and filed a missing person report. Thomas was last seen on January 3rd and the family member is uncertain about the clothing he was wearing at the time. He was residing at the Richard Drive in Middle Region on St. Martin. He is described as approximately 1.80 meters tall and them same dark and him slim. So they must say anybody who have any information, you know what I mean, can contact the police. I don't know if nobody at Jamaica really I go call, you know what I mean, because you don't know nothing. So they must go contact the nearest police station. So I go put in picture right here, so my people. And thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe.